A week has passed since Daredevil Season 2 was released on Netflix, and I loved it. Like, I heard it was getting some lukewarm reception, like, a lot of people loved it, but they were saying that there was a void missing, like, Wilson Fisk wasn't in it as much, and said if they don't, that Frank Castle and Electra Nachios, I still cannot take that name seriously. <laughs> it's almost as realistic as Anastasia Steele. It, it, it just sounds so fake to me. <clears throat> But anyways, um, like, I really love this season. It was awesome. It was entertaining. It, it doesn't beat season one, I can admit to that, but I did, but the most highlight of the season for me was Frank Castle, a.k.a. The Punisher. He was just awesome in this season. And I hear rumors that they're considering, uh, Making a Punisher spinoff for from Netflix, and I really hope. And considering how the season ended, I really hope they do that. And yeah, he, yeah, he was, and it was considered one of the highlights of the season for many critics. And considering this is Shane from Walking Dead, and considering how you're not supposed to like Shane, and has to somewhat be sympathetic towards the Punisher, he certainly did well on that. Did that well on that end, and yeah, it was just simply awesome. It, and while I will still forever question the name that they gave N Nachios, whatever, Electra Nachios, like, ugh. I really thought, well, I could take this character more seriously than I did in the Daredevil movie, because the actress who played her was really great. Um, I took her seriously, I and she, and she has a past with uh, Frank... With uh, um, with uh, Matt Murdock, and it was just okay. It's good, and especially how um, episode four um, was to me. Like episode four seemed more like a uh, season finale. Like this was the season finale, and we just moved on to another season. So like I had that vibe when I saw episode four when uh, like. Like, the Punisher's put away for now. Like, they'll do it with him. It, it all felt like a season finale. It felt like they just put everything for a season finale in episode four to me. And, like, I know they had a season finale for for the final episode of season two, but episode four did feel like a finale for me. And then it ended with a cliffhanger, and just like season two's finale, the real one, ends with a cliffhanger. Um... <sighs> It just felt confusing for me. Like, how did... How come episode 4 was such a season finale like Esquire? It, it just felt like that. Um, meanwhile, so... The fir first four episodes focus on the Punisher. And I really love the episode where the Punisher and Daredevil compare themselves. And tells... And Frank Castle tells Daredevil that... You're just one bad day away from being me. And I was like, well, considering that in the movie he kills people, yeah, he's kind of right on that. Luckily, that movie is not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, thank God. But this was way before the Marvel Cinematic Universe even happened. This was still belonging to Fox. Uh, so, and if they do make a Daredevil movie this time around, I'll be all for it. Um, Wilson Fisk shows up and, well... Yeah, and this time around we get some Jessica Jones crossovers. I didn't mention them in the uh, Jessica Jones review, the Fox video, where uh, where we saw the nurse, the doctor nurse, I kind of forgot her name, um, appeared at the season finale of Jessica Jones, and how she helped out. Like, that was a nice Easter egg, I forgot about her. And she quits. She quits the hospital at the at near the end of the season since they start taking in bribes, and told them to keep your mouth shut, and yeah, and then we saw the uh, corrupted business lawyer. What's her face? I really don't like her because how she's manipulative and pretty much is supposed to be. Are we supposed to root for her, or are we supposed to feel sorry for her, or are we supposed to hate her? Um, yeah, it always, that always, like, what? And I'm trying to remember her name. Uh, 
man. <laughs> Sorry. It's, I haven't watched this. I finished watching it on Monday, and I was still dealing with, uh, oh, Ho Jerry Hogarth, uh, yeah, that was her. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm all, all over the place on this, um, it's just I've been busy with sick and all that, and I'm sure everyone would understand. Um, yeah, Hogarth from Jessica Jones shows up and offers Foggy a job at her for at her firm after his great speech that he made at the uh, at the court case, the People versus Frank Castle, and and like at the end of the season, it just felt well. Episode four was pretty much their season finale, and it just looked like they entered another season to me. That was always the vibe I was getting. Like I said. So, it ends with another cliffhanger, uh, the hand has recovered Electra's body, who died, um, in this episode, in the season finale, um, yeah, Electra dies, not surprised, kinda, honestly, she d died in Daredevil the movie, I wasn't so surprised she would die here, um, and Nobu, and they also discussed immortality, and Daredevil is kind of surprised that immortality exists, and I'm, and I'm the one saying, like, um, question, did you forget that there was an alien attack on New York a year ago at the time in, in this, uh, I think it was a year ago by then? A year had passed since the attack on New York. Uh, they don't. I don't really get a timeline. I don't have a timeline of everything. Uh, there's a Thor. There's Thor, the Thunder God, the Hulk. There's a Super Soldier, and there's Iron Man. There's mutations. There are and and even then, like if you added the X Men and like there's mutants. Like, if you had added the X-Men from the, um, X-Men universe, if they were in Marvel Cinematic Universe, they would still be part of the universe, in the comics at least. Wouldn't that not be surprising? Wouldn't you have a little, okay, like, if there, if there's the Hulk, mutants, uh, aliens, Thunder Gods, Asgard, cr cr people popping out of the Earth right now, um, yeah, I would buy Immortality. Yeah, I could buy that. So, yeah. Um, but really, the highlight of the season was really Frank Castle. My favorite episode, like I said, had to be when Frank Castle and him just, and Matt Murdock discussed their ideology, how Frank Castle wants to kill the criminals, Matt Murdock wants to put them away so they could be hopefully redeemed. Um, yeah. Like, I understand Frank Castle's point of view, I understand Matt Murdock's point of view, but it's hard to really say who's in the right here. Because there's a chance they're not going to be redeemed. They're just going to do it all over again. And Wilson Fisk appears in the season near the end. After Frank Castle sent to jail. After losing the court case purposely. Yeah, I, I still don't get that. Like, I'm trying to figure out why. Like, I think it had to do with Wilson Fisk making a deal with Frank Castle. And Frank Castle got the idea, oh, lock me up. And all that, and Wilson Fisk later turns on them, turns on him, and lets him escape. Oh, and that woman, I can't remember her name, but... I can't remember her name, I'm trying to remember. The black lady, um... She shows up at the season finale of Jessica Jones, so... Yeah, I also like... Oh, oh yeah, she also shows up in Daredevil, and gets killed. Spoiler alert. <laughs> They get shot by um, the hand group. They kill her. Are we supposed to feel sorry for her at the last minute? Like, I didn't really feel sorry for her. She looked like a manipulative B word. So, am I supposed to feel sorry for her because her daughter was threatened? Like, I feel sorry for the daughter being threatened, but I don't feel sorry for the DA girl, woman. Uh-huh. Um. And, like I said, like, there's this group of people that believe in immortality and one has it after being burned alive in season one. 
And like I said, how is it hard for Matt Murdock to not believe it's tr to believe it's true? Because everything I just said that's happened in Marvel's universe, and you also include the X Men universe to join up, or the Fantastic Four. My God, that was a horrible movie. So, yeah, that that pretty much what happened and. Uh, he, Karen, have a falling out with Matt Murdock, and Matt Murdock reveals that to Karen that he is Daredevil, and I'm like, that was kind of anticlimactic to me. Like, I get they're building this up for the next season, I'm sure there's going to be a season three, but I thought she would, like, put her hand over her mouth in surprise, she just stares at him with awe. Not horrified a bit, and I don't really and I tr and I rewatched the season two again despite its tough moments they had since I cringed a lot of the dark scenes between Foggy and uh, Matt having a falling out. Um, I still can't figure it out. Like, why did Matt reveal that he's Daredevil to Karen? Is it because he still loves her and wants to protect her? Is it because of what happened to Elektra? Um, okay. And... And the trial... I really love the trial of the people for his friend Castle. Like, you hear the divisions, like, Oh, let's see him as a hero. Let's see him as a villain. Uh, a vigilante. Well, let's see him as this. Let's see him as that. And... Yeah, I thought, like, they should have, like, went into... a lasted a little longer to me and played it more realistically instead of just very rushed to me. They should have drawn it out a little bit longer. Like they had the they had the big big build up for it and I felt like it should have lasted for like an entire episode like Matt Murdock, Frank Castle Case, all this and maybe they could also put in Daredevil as a possible suspect of this whole uh, saying uh, oh he it's because of Daredevil this happened. Like they in fact, I was surprised the DA woman did not use Daredevil as a reason why why Frank Castle should be locked up, including Daredevil. So, yeah, that's pretty much one letdown I felt a little bit. Like, the trial was great, but it felt like it could have lasted a little bit longer to me. And, and Wilson Fisk, like, once again, an identifiable villain, a very sympathetic one. And how he smashes Matt Murdock's head in on the desk. Yeah. Ugh. And because he threatened to bar, make sure that Wilson Fisk's love interest doesn't return to the U.S. or New York whatsoever. And yeah, I would be pissed if someone threatened my girl too. Um. So. Yeah, those were... And Karen, last lastly, Karen gets a job as a journalist. It just happened because she was investigating Frank Castle and this other guy, the head of the journalist department wanted to get in on this and, well, comes up with all this and it just happened. It just felt... Why did she take the job? Like, she's investigating. That's one thing. But when did she take the job? I don't recall that scene. So I was like... Confused a bit, but then it was like, okay. Well, everyone, this was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate. Stay tuned for more.